Welcome, Aussie Disc Golf fans, Park Media fans, wherever you're tuning in. Welcome to the Big Wet for 2024 on a brand new course, Mount Xavier Disc Golf Course in Ballarat. I'm joined immediately to my left by a man who's slightly a smidgen too young for MP40, but a smidgen too old for his haircut, Matty Faz. <laughs> How are you, Matty? <laughs> I'm good, Jace. It's a... You know, it's a, it's a very fast-moving world. You've got to keep up, and I'm just doing my best to <laughs> stay with the trends. Yeah, tremendous job. Uh, we've got a bit of a, an interesting card for you today as we move into hole one. She's viciously uphill. 85 metres and an OB bunker on the left, playing as a hazard. Uh, but, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a yeet to get it up there, Matty. Yeah, third most difficult hole on the course as we see Don Carter. Which division is Don Carter playing in, Jace? Uh, he's playing MA1, I believe, uh, but he's only 15, 16 years old, I think. He's a local Ballarat boy. Yeah, it's a pretty meteoric rise he's had to MA1. As you can see, his form, very textbook. Yeah, very deliberate. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a start to the tournament from young Don. As and you can see, very much belongs in MA1. Yeah, this is a familiar face, of course. One of Park Media's biggest supporters, Chris Hart. As he walks away on that one. Yeah, just misses the hazard that's on the left there. You'll see the bunker. Normal hazard rules apply. And Cassie Sweeten, dynamic discs. Cassie Sweeten uh, having a crack in MP40 this weekend. And our second MA1 player, Chris Scott, who manages to glide that one over the hazard. And he'll have yeah. a circle one putt for his birdie. He's one of the favourite Melbourne disc golfers, Chris Scott. So I'm looking forward to seeing him on coverage today and seeing what he can do. Lovely up there from Cass. As Chris donning the bucket hat. Maybe he's been watching a bit of Joey Anderson on the on the pro circuit <laughs> I can there. Probably guarantee he has been. He watches <laughs> a lot of disc golf, Chris Hart. A little tentative there from Chrissy. He'll uh, hopefully shake off the nerves and improve on that as we move along. Yeah, first tournament putt there from Chris Scott. As our players <laughs> tap in for their pars. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's no stranger to the camera, is he, Chris? He's not. Uh, he's usually standing on the side of it, though. Oh, and Don claiming his CTP. And a birdie to start. Simultaneous flag plant and birdie as we go into hole two. It's a downhill 75 metre hole, moving slightly left to right. Straight backhands for the righty or the forehand could be an option here as we see Don go that backhand option. Needs a good kick and gets one, Jason. Yeah, that. lovely. Lovely. So Don starting well here. Let's see what Chris can do. Ooh, unhappy with that one. Nah, bad luck, Chris. Yeah, might see that in the clubhouse next episode as Cass corrects on his mistake. Just needs this one to hold its line. Bang, into the lawn roller, mate. Yeah. No, you might as well strategically use it if you can. Ooh. Well, Chris has found a gap, but I don't think it's the one he wanted. No, he's way out right there. As Chris, that tree just costing him his shape there, unfortunately. So, still a bit of disc golf in that one for Chris yeah. Hart. Yeah, looks like he'll ring up his first bogey as we see Chris Scott with a decent little window to attack. Yeah, he's mostly through there. Bet him a drive. <laughs> one of the more well-mannered disc golfers you'll meet, Chris Scott. Matty? Oh, it doesn't have a negative bone in his body. As we see Chris Hart getting a... Nasty little roll away there. He'll have to work for his bogey. Long birdie look for Cass. Couldn't capitalise on that lawn no. roller hit. And a layup from Don Carter. <laughs> well, he sort of looked like he was angling at the chains and then almost chickened out at the last minute. I don't want to <laughs> question the man's gumption. And nice high chain hit for Chris. Sporting a great pair of pink socks. Yeah, pink socks aren't very punk rock. I know uh, <laughs> Chris claims to be one of the more punk rock disc golfers in Melbourne, but I think you and I have him covered. Uh, absolutely. As a good par save from Cassie and a drop in par from Don Carter. Sporting his guff top 
uh, in support of Guff. And speaking of Guff and support, Matty, they're big supporters of ours. Yeah, one of the few brick and mortar stores we have here in Victoria. If you want to get your hands literally on some discs, <laughs> head on down to Ballarat and Guff as we move into hole three. Par four, the course opens up a little bit here. 165 metres. Pretty much a stock backhand hyzer for the righty, and then uh, your choice of upshot depending on the angle. Yeah, just trying to get around the corner. And as far up, Don's gone too close to the trees here, and they've caught him. Certainly have. There is no two metre rule to speak of in Australia, so he won't be penalised for it. As we see Cass go with her sword, which we saw her throw a lot of at yeah, the pine lines open. Absolutely, and that's a much nicer line. That's exactly where you'd want to be, I imagine. Perfection from Cass. Chris with a high highs are trying to get around that corner. And he's done that pretty well too. Yeah, spike center fairway. Doesn't mess around, does he, Chris? We're going to have to be sharp. As Chris Hart takes a narrow line. And he'll be okay too there. Opens right up when you get around the corner, Matty, so... A little uphill, but a generous par four, would you say, at 165? I, I would very much say this is a must get for every player on the card. Yep, done leaving that one a little short. Yeah, second easiest hole on the course here. Even the players in your division would be disappointed to miss <laughs> this one, I reckon, Jase. Our division. Our yeah, division, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. As Cass pushes that hill, hoping to get as high up as possible, and looks like she's done okay. Yeah, delightful from Cass. As Chris Scott looking to do the same, pretty much has. Oh, no. Just doesn't get the same ground play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Ash willing that one to sit, and it does. Now Chris for a long look, but he's... Uh, He's come up with an air bud, Matty. Yeah, he's a pretty aggressive player. I'm sure we're going to see more of that from him. As Don decides to run this one on a more uh, elevated basket. Yeah, nice birdie from Chris Scott. Yeah, just casually pops that one in there. Yeah, just played that hole really easily. There's a pass save for Papa Hart. And Cass with a really simple birdie. Putt here. Doesn't miss these. Lovely putt. <laughs> I wonder if Don gets oh. obstructed by oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his hair obstructed that putt. Yeah, you should probably yeah, exactly. think about sort of getting some tips off Cass as to how to tie it up. <laughs> <laughs> the sausage link, the, the sausage <laughs> link manoeuvre. <laughs> Par four. Now, this is a beauty, Matty, but a tough one. 175 downhill. Uh, there's a mando tree in play here. <clears throat> so it's out to the left. And then down this hill uh, where well, there's a bit of OB surrounding the back of the basket. So tee shot, absolutely 100% important here. Yeah, definitely not one of the more difficult yep. holes on the course. Yeah, Mando left and right. Sorry, I take that back. It was coming as the seventh most difficult hole, so I guess that big tree's a little hard to avoid. You've got to keep it low and have yeah, it turning I think, right. Um, there's really nothing, no need for anything spectacular off the tee here. It's just uh, sort of get it in the middle, and it's pretty easy from there. It's a pretty easy approach, but um, it does suck you in. I mean, it's a great looking shot if you pull it off this one. Oh, that's so He's got the height better than we've seen so far. Yeah, a little too much turned over. And the forehand from Chris Hart. Yeah, it's good to finally see one as Australia's forehand guy. <laughs> <laughs> we never forget that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he should be okay out there, Chris. Yeah, he'll probably need a power forehand so to come did, back in. did Chris Scott miss the Mando there? Or he's just playing right next to it? Yeah, it won't be a birdie for Chris. Should get up and down for his par, though. 
Cass with a low skipper. Get away from that hazard, please. Yeah, she's fine. Yep. Oh, geez, some ground play. Very stable disc. And it looks in good nick, this golf course, Matty. Freshly mowed, I'd noticed before. It's a forehand approach from Don. And getting a nice little roll. I believe that's the Park Media Stamp Justice. It, uh, it certainly is. We've still got a few of them available if you're uh, watching at home. If you want to throw like Don Carter. I wish I did. Great angle control there from Chris. Yeah. It's his bread and butter, isn't it? Let's see if uh, Chris Hart can nail one here. Oh, oh yes! Slam dunk. <laughs> he lent it in. <coughs> Great putt. Puts him back to even with that birdie. Oh, that was an aggressive putt. Don's just suddenly turned. He's flicked the switch. He's yeah, from a guy that was laying up on hole two. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely putting with a purpose now, isn't he? Maybe Chris Hart was teasing him. Known for his banter on... Oh, it wasn't an air bud. No, it was just... Just didn't qualify as an air bud, but uh, same result, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, Cass is looking yeah. good early. Good birdie from Cass. Takes her to two down and in front of this card. Yeah, showing the lads just how to do it. Pass save for Chris, who ended up in a bit of trouble at the start of that hole. And Don... What's he, bogey? Shooting for bogey here? Correct. And it's about the same distance as the last two. And nails that one. Yeah. No one likes a three putt, but at least he got the comebacker eventually. Absolutely. Hole five. Now this one's straight through the woods. We've got very narrow gaps here. And basket perched up in amongst these trees, but look, it's a pretty straight line to it, Matty. It's only 75 metres. Yeah, it looks like Cass has a fairway in hand. She might be going the highs of flip. Get through, get off that. Yes. Okay. No, she's just going to ping a perfect line. And Ooh! Gave <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure of the decision of that throw given the gradient of the green, but she's a lot better than me. Chris playing it pretty safe with that forehand. Yeah, although this hole would suit you, Matty. The straight shot would come into play, I think. Yeah, we see Chris going with a putter. That's a different line. I do think the best play here is a flex forehand, though. That was the line. And Don's listening. On cue. Do we know how old Don is? He's in his teens. I think he's 15. 15? He's yeah, a big boy. Yeah, so he's a big boy for 15. He's got... I remember filming on the day. He's got huge feet for a 15-year-old <laughs> kid. <laughs> Should get him in the swimming pool. <laughs> we need more gold in the in the pool at the Olympics, don't we? <laughs> he's, wasting, he's wasting his genetic talents on disc golf. No, he's applying them wonderfully. Chris with the birdie look. Yeah, soft run from Chris there. Yeah, did well to match the slope. Cass having to get a bit fancy for her up shot. She'll be putting in for par there, no worries. Don to save. Nice nose up run. Puts the air bud count up to three though for Don Carter, unfortunately. We counting tonight? No, well, we're not. We're just, uh, <laughs> uh, that's the third one I've registered. I'm not going to make a point of counting, but. Yeah, don't do Don like that. Uh, Airbuds only go up to seven anyway, Matty. <laughs> <laughs> As we uh, all know. I think it's just you and I that know that. <laughs> <laughs> so two bogeys in a row for Guff's Don Carter there. Puts yeah. him at plus one. If you have seen any of the Airbud films, <laughs> let us know which is your favourite in the comments. I just want to know we're not the only ones out there. Hole six. This is a rough one, Matty. Uh, this is looks like uncharted territory. Uh, there's a very elevated basket, and you know, 80 metres. It's uphill. It's ace run time though, but yeah, very very particular shot. Yeah, nice. And not one I've definitely got dialed in. This cast doesn't make a... Doesn't do a bad job of it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, fourth easiest hole on the course, this one. Players of this caliber will be looking to score. Chris needs this one to keep turning. He's not, yeah, he's okay there. There's Dom with a little bit of a flex, hoping for some fade. And that, don't know where that's gone, but doesn't look like it's near the basket. No. There's a lot of dead wood on the ground, isn't there? You can see they've put a, a lot of work into this course over they the have. last few months. Being Melbourne's, well, I can't really say Melbourne, can I? Let's say Outer Victoria's <laughs> newest course. Yeah, it was only opened in February 2024, officially. And uh, <laughs> word from Ballarat's favourite TD, Reese Circuit, that uh, local volunteers put in mountains of work to get this course up to scratch for this tournament. And they're very happy with their result. Mm, there's Don we see there, still having some woes on the green. Yeah, three bogeys on the trot. As Cassie holds firm at two under. There's Chris with his dicky shorts, very reminiscent of the early 2000s punk rock movement. Yeah, the man in black. Now, hole seven is 100 metres. It's a par four. It's along this narrow track. Uh, there's some barriers on the left there because your discs will want to leak down left into the creek and obviously everything beyond the barrier there is OB uh, but yeah look there's a number of plays but obviously trying to keep it low and just trying to stop that disc from fading is the key yeah one of the more difficult holes on the course uh, fourth most difficult to be exact I would say that's because of the OB Matty yeah, pretty safe play from Chris there. Aiming at that bank's not a bad strategy. Chris going high. How did that not hit anything? And staying up there, so a bit of work to do for Chris Scott. Yeah, I dare say he would just be pitching out to the fairway. And Don following up there. He kicked right. I initially said right, so... Yeah, I'm surprised to see them go drivers on a hole this short. Yeah, just bringing the ground planes with a little... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Heinous. <laughs> and we and get a single <laughs> teapot from Chris Hart, but the shake of the head says it all. It wasn't looking too bad apart from that kick. <laughs> oh, Don gets a better one than he did. Oh, dear. I wasn't ready for that, Chris. <laughs> oh, this could cut roll. Oh. Stop. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the barrier's doing their job. Course designers doing the players a favour there. <laughs> Oh, shaped beautifully yeah, from Cass. A little bit of flex. Should give her a straight on look at the basket. Nice little bit of hyzer there from Don. Yeah, he should save his par there. That Park Justice doing plenty of work early. Yeah, good close up there from Ash. Yeah, he's... Uh, <laughs> and probably the first disc he's paid for in a long time, I would imagine, Don <laughs> Carter. <laughs> Go in the bucket. Oh! Solid run from Chris. Got a smile out of catch cam, Ash, there. Doing great work on the catch cam and marketing our discs. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Corporate man, Ash. <laughs> he looks cold. I don't it is absolutely freezing on this day, mate. It's, um, it was it close to snow. Was it? Oh, okay. It was absolutely bitterly cold. That would explain Cassie's um, murderer glove she's yeah, got in her left hand. Shout out to Cassie. Actually, on this first round, she gave me one of her gloves, which had a hand warmer inside it. Oh. She only needed one. And yeah, so thank you very much for that, Cassie. It was uh, stopped my hand from falling off. You're a saint, Cass. There's Don. One of the darlings of Australian disc golf, Cassie. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, it is weird to see Ash in pants. <laughs> it is, you're right. <laughs> He's very much a shorts guy. You know it's cold if Ash is wearing pants. Absolutely. So Cassie's still out in front of this card. Two down. Hole eight. This one's through the woods. There's a couple of ways you can go, but the drone's taking us left uh, over the road here and onto this sort of an island but not playing as one, Matty. I mean, this is reminiscent of Pine Lines, if uh, yeah, it certainly is, yeah. any of the viewers have been 
watching that coverage. And if you haven't, Ooh. go to the YouTube page, check out the channel, please. Absolutely. But yeah, a bit of a shank there from Chris Scott. As Don takes the right At least the gap <laughs> and gets a lucky key tree kick. I always get that one mixed up. Yeah, this one coming in is the tenth most scorable, so definitely not a gimme. It's not the worst. No, no, you're either getting through or you're not, though. I wish we could hear what Chris was saying to the camera. He's addressing it a lot. So Cass for her second. She's got a pretty good look at it, and that's a nice shot in. So she's playing well, Cassie. She certainly is. It's Chris with a little flick there. Did I hear say the Sponsored by Berg's Bags. Yep, he is. Recently, well not recently, he's playing MA1 these days after a very, very long stint in MA2. Yeah, and Chris Hart should mention is a flying ace if you haven't already picked that up. Oh, don't. Yeah, just not feeling it with the putter today is... No, Don. he's good on his bogey putts, though. <laughs> he's got them dialed in. <laughs> As Chris Scott puts his bogey into the basket, hole eight, which is sponsored by Guff. Once again, another shout-out for Guff, our heroes. Our heroes, indeed. They don't wear capes, but... Well, oh, but sometimes they do. Yeah, I mean. you can. You, you can. <laughs> if want you go on the right Saturday night, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more about that later as we move into hole nine. <laughs> it's a par four, another pretty wooded one. You do not want to get off this fairway. Turning backhand for the righty is a play. Uh, flex forehand if you want to get aggressive. Land about here with a. Little forehand upshot if you get there. Yeah, it's uh, not a low ceiling, but definitely narrow. As that's a nice shot by Cass. That's yeah. a perfect landing spot. And that is just about an identical shot, I reckon. Yeah, just a touch more distance, but gets around that little bend, and yeah, he'll have a nice shot up for his approach. What was that? A UFO? Uh, that's his, uh, that is a disc purchased from Timu. <laughs> <laughs> not sure if they're one of his sponsors or not, but uh, yeah, he proudly sports that Timu Timo UFO, and it is PDGA approved, I can report. I didn't realise Timu dabbled in disc golf. I guess they dabble in bloody everything. Well, if you're not sure, just uh, get on YouTube and follow Cameron Gadget camera gadget other which is Chris Scott's channel and you'll see videos of him experimenting with all sorts of different discs sounds exciting <laughs> <laughs> it's a good watch it's a good watch it's wholesome I oh. think uh, the word I'd use I like the ones with Martin Go. personally I think Martin Go is uh, born for the camera yeah no, probably s yeah he's, he's okay I suppose he'll never sell you a disc on the cheap again <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Proudly showing his Timu sponsorship off there. A Starbird XUFO. What do you reckon Timu offer as a sponsorship package? Um, Spin the wheel. I don't know a lot about <laughs> Timu, to be honest. Has things have gone a little south for the card here after some good drives? Yeah, this was a troublesome hole. As they're working their way into the woods now on this part of this stunning Mount Xavier course. Little stepper from Chris Hart. Ooh. See it. That's okay. Yeah, a little too casual from Chris there. He should uh, stop bragging about his T move finds and start dialing in on his focus. No hate. Par for Chris there, staying on even. And Chris Hart 
blowing out to plus three there. So end of the front nine for round one. Cassie Sweet and flying out in front of this card on neg one. Chris Scott on even. And Don Carter and Chris Hart both coming in at uh, plus three. So after that big start from Don, uh, just a few bogeys in a row there. So a bit of work to do. Yes, yeah, we see a few highlights from the card. What a magical moment that was. Yeah, nice lean back. And some lovely, a lovely drive from, uh, from Chris Scott also. If you like what you've seen, please join us for the back nine of this tournament. Big Wet 2024 from Mount Xavier. I've been Jason Wheatner. I've been Matty Faz. And until next time, park, park it. it.